Season two of the Pat and JT podcast. Oh my, now I'm here at last. The best time, always gonna be the best. To come out. Exclusively on the Herd App Media Network. Right. Snowmageddon 2021 um, is in full effect. Hopefully, everybody uh, has bought all the milk, bought Hunkered all the butter. <laughs> yeah. I love it when, when snow is going to happen and people run and they buy milk and bread. It's like, what are you guys all of a sudden going to start baking or something now? And just buy like four frozen pizzas and you'll, you'll get through the next 12 hours. See, you'll be fine. That's usually when there's like something like this, an event like this. That's like my my get out of jail free card to buy the, that kind of um, comfort food. All the things that I shouldn't want to eat is what I'm hungry for when this happens. Yeah, um, right. I want I right. want hamburger helper beef stroganoff. Yep. I want mac and cheese with Velveeta. I want <laughs> like baked potatoes with sour cream and butter and and uh, cheese. Um, yeah. I want chili. I, I, I almost uh, went and bought the family size chili from Wendy's. You can get that quart and a half of their chili mm-hmm. um, for like ten bucks. And I was like, it's just, that's a deal, man, because it's good and it, it's done. You don't have to make it. Yep. <laughs> right. It's good. But I didn't it, want to I didn't want to drive anywhere. And I'm like, well, I'm just going to. And then I look up. OK, here, let me just tell you a story. Right. Because um, I went so far as to. So I went to Wendy's site and I'm not knocking on Wendy's here, but I just have to point this out because I'm sure it's this way with everybody. Um, but Wendy's Wendy's dot com. And I'm looking at delivery. Because they have order delivery, order pickup. I'm like, well, most of the apps do that, right? No big deal right. uh, as far as, you know, order pickup. But order delivery, and they give you like four different services to choose from. So I pulled them all up. Um, Uber Eats, Grubhub, DoorDash, and then one I didn't recognize. Um, pulled them all up, and I thought, you know what? Let's order the same thing from all four, and I'm just curious how much it'll cost to Ooh. get delivery. Look right? at you being John John Stossel over there. <laughs> I was Mike investigative McKnight. reports. I'm Mike Curtis. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, so all I ordered was the, the, the super size of chili. It's 10 bucks if you go through the drive through to get the, the quart and a half of chili. And that's all I ordered. And I was just curious how much it would cost for delivery. And it ranged anywhere from 25 to $36. Jeez. Total. What? 36 Total. bucks for one thing? Yes. And that's including... Your, and they, they calculate your tip, but the tip is calculated based on the total of not only the order, but the tax and the delivery fee and something else. All three of those are added together and the tax that they, or the, the delivery tip, like 10%, 20%, 15%, whatever it was, is a percentage of that grand total, not just a percentage of your order. So be careful oh. about that. You should not pay a tip on a tax. Ever. Sorry. Right. Ever so oh so, that's, that yeah. is crazy that's that anyone would pay thirty six dollars to have a, a quart of chili or whatever delivered right C- craziness right. granted quart and a half but still um but, <laughs> but right. oh then that makes a difference <laughs> that's but nuts yeah I was I couldn't believe it I was like because it has so many taxes and it has a delivery fee and then a tip and a service charge so the, so the delivery the fee must go to Uber whatever eats or whatever it is and the tip goes to the driver obviously. So yeah. they're getting, th- and and we know from yeah. knowing restaurant owners that Uber Eats or whoever was cuts a deal with the restaurant, so they don't even pay full retail for that food. So the restaurant isn't making right. as much money as you think. It's all going to the delivery people, right? And some of the charges Company. for the the food itself, just if you you know nine ninety nine, if you go through the drive through for that one item, and then it went from nine ninety nine to eleven fifty to twelve fifty to thirteen dollars. Jeez, that's nice. Is what they charge just base for that one item. So they add it on. And I've seen that before too on on restaurants where what you order in the store and what you order through Uber Eats, they charge you more for the item and the restaurant also is losing money on that item as well by doing that. So just keep that in mind. I get it though. Because I was tempted. I was tempted. I was. Yeah. <laughs> but I just I'm like twenty five bucks for a quart and a half of chili. Okay, nah. so when, when when did you do your research? Was that before or after Snowmageddon? Is that today? Like while it's snowing, you're doing this research? Or That's yesterday? last night. That was yesterday evening. Okay, so I was what? already in in the PJs. I was I was like already resigned to the fact that we're not going to work. You know, going into the office today. Yeah. Um, and had already made arrangements with the 
the snow driver, you know, the snow plow guy, because he didn't do my yard or my yard, my driveway from the previous day's snow. Yeah. Um, so my driveway still covered my sidewalk. So, and, and, you know, granted, it was like a good dusting, a really uh-huh. healthy dusting. I said, don't worry, I'm not going anywhere for the next 36 hours. I said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, so there's no rush on mine. So anyway, we'll see when he shows back up. So I was I was pretty much decided I wasn't going to go anywhere. thought, well, let me just see if I got something delivered. I don't remember pizzas being that much that expensive. You know when they had their individual pizza delivery drivers. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. You could get, yeah. Yeah. Before, yeah, that. but now it's like ten dollars just to get something delivered. It's stupid. I mean, it is. It's stupid. That's what it it, it it just drives me crazy when the kids will be. It's a Friday night. It's not or Saturday. Whatever. Whatever night it is, <laughs> and they're sitting there and they're fully capable of driving up and getting food. First of all, we just would spend like three hundred dollars at Aldi or wherever the night before. There's tons of food in the house, but they get in like there's nothing to eat. So Bennett wants to order his uh, tikka marsal from an Indian restaurant that he loves. Random. Oh my god. And <laughs> And he'll, so they'll get on. So they'll get on to Uber Eats. Sophie will get on one. Ben will get on the other, and they'll have food delivered. And I'll look at their bank account, and like he spent thirty-two bucks on a entree of uh, tikka masala, and it's like, what? What are you doing? You are an able-bodied eighteen-year-old. Drive somewhere and get a, or get a pizza. They'll have. He'll have Pizza Hut oh. delivered. Uh, two medium pizzas, which he'll eat in the course of an hour. Breadsticks and a dessert cookie, whatever. And it's like thirty bucks. Like you've got to be kidding me. Are two mediums a better deal than one large? Uh, I don't know. It seems like you get a better deal, like price wise, uh, with two meat, like with Pizza Hut, where they have their pick anything yeah. for five ninety nine. You know, two any medium, whatever. Th- to me, that seems like a better deal, um, but I don't know. <laughs> Pound for ounce for ounce, I don't know what's a better deal. <laughs> I don't know that there is a better deal when it comes to delivery. I no. really don't. The best don't thing, know. the best, the best pizzas I found, um, and they're awesome, are the Aldi. Pizzas, they're about the size of like big DiGiorno, the like the legit ones, and they're like two fifteen. And they're delicious. <laughs> they're awesome. And they're mediums. That's awesome. That's now I did see like Hy Vee and Bakers. Hy Vee in particular, Hy Vee, you know, has that meals to go kind of thing from mm-hmm. their you know, they've got the best Chinese food ever, and then they've yeah. got the pizza and they've got whatever else is over there, pasta. Yeah. And you can get you can get those delivered too. <clears throat> but I'm sure I don't know what it even costs to do that. Or generally, you can order it and then just do curbside pickup, which is handy because I like their food too. But yeah. but yeah, I just wasn't going anywhere. And I was like, dang, man, what do I have? I can make something. So I made meatloaf. So yeah, that's, <laughs> Hey, that's as good. Meatloaf is a good. Meatloaf is definitely good I already a good had it for breakfast. One. You know? I did. <laughs> I did. We, I already had some for <laughs> just in our in our you know 2020 was a total crap show and then now 2021 <laughs> we all went into it being like yes this is going to be great we're going to rally we're going to bounce back well I think uh, Beth and I have officially just said f it we're, we just gave up she bought uh, at when we were at Aldi she bought a fleece house coat with pockets. <laughs> for nine bucks and she wore it she's like, this is the best thing ever and this is i'm like what are you gonna keep in your pocket she goes well probably snacks and a remote control i'm gonna start calling her mrs connor right because um, <laughs> i just imagine roseanne standing there roseanne connor in her, in her house coat living at the corner of second and delaware or whatever it was third and right delaware. <laughs> It is like this, it's like a cape with a collar and it's got pockets and I don't know. It's yeah. funny. You know, so, I literally have on mine is not fleece, mine is flannel, but thank you very much. Yeah. It's and it's a long it's like a it's like a duster. Um mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh <laughs> it's not near as cool as that name. Um, and it never sees the, the light of day except when I step out the back door to throw the frisbee for the dog. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> <laughs> so there's that. What a disaster. Anyway. <laughs> total, total. Anyway. Interesting. Um, yeah. Over the weekend, too, I, I mean, I'm sure yeah. people know that are listening to our podcast know that um, our company produces the Hollywood Raw podcast with, with Dax Holt and Adam Glenn, and Dax has been a part of our show forever. But um, over the weekend, Larry the King. Larry the King? Wow. Larry King? <laughs> well, basically. King. Yeah. Basically. Uh, Larry, the Ki- Larry the King passing away. Um, <laughs> and it was kind of ironic that last summer in June – um, Larry King was on the Hollywood Raw podcast, and it ended up being, if not the, one of the last interviews he gave, because after that, he kind of fell on some pretty hard times. It was sad. Well, it was. It was. It was a, It was like one thing after another. <clears throat> he has, I believe there were f- uh, five children total, and he is survived by three of his five children. He'd been married eight times, and his children ranged in age from 65 to 20. 
And unfortunately, his oldest 65-year-old was uh, Andy King, and he passed away in July of last year, unexpectedly of a heart attack. He was 65 when he died, and Larry was 87 when he died. Um, That was just last year. And then his daughter, he had another son, Larry King Jr., is 59 years old. And then his daughter, I'm not sure how to say it, C-H-A-I-A, Kaya? Probably Kaya. I'm not sure. Probably Kaya. She died. He died the 28th of July. She died within a month, like three weeks later, just shortly after being diagnosed with lung cancer. Oh, man. And then, so he lost two of his children just just quickly. And then he fell ill not too long after that, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. And he was in, he was in intensive care. I don't think it was COVID related. It may have been COVID. Right. I, don't, I don't know, but he, I know he was in intensive care for a while and hasn't been out that long. Um, and then, you know, passed away on Friday night. Wow. One of the one of the quotes I heard about him, because he was married eight times to seven different women. So one of them got in there twice. Yeah. And he said of her, he said of her, when he was married to her, he, they got divorced and she took half of everything he had uh-huh. and they got remarried. They got divorced again. She took the rest. So <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Which, which I thought was hilarious. Um, but anyway, he was admitted into the hospital earlier I think just this month, um, and they think it was due to some of the side effects of some complications from coronavirus. And of course, he had health issues. He'd had heart attacks yeah. and he'd had a stroke um, as well. I mean, going back to the 80s. Yeah. So sad. Yeah. Well, I'm, and I'm going to try to but, play this, this clip from Hollywood Raw if yeah. I can from my phone um, from the episode that they had with Larry King. Here we go. We'll try to get this. And I'm 86 years old. I've had a stroke. I've had everything in the world happen to me. I don't know how I'm alive, but I love what I do. And I've loved it all my life. I, since the first day I got on the air in 1957, I have loved it. I loved interviewing. I loved doing golf and football. I loved being, doing news. I, I did everything you could do. I love broadcasting. I love the field of communicate. What you two guys are doing now, I love. It's called communications. And there, there's, to me, there's nothing like it in the world. It's the it's number one major in America in colleges. More people want to get into it than are in it. It can be discouraging. It knocks you down this field, but you got to get up. I think it's so ironic when he talks about that, when he says that he doesn't, he has had strokes, he's been sick, he doesn't even know why he's alive, but he loves l- the joy of his life was doing what he does, communicating yeah. with people. He Seriously, th- over 30,000 interviews <clears throat> in 25 years at CNN. Um, but I, I think one of the, one of the things to take away from this, if you're in, if you're a podcaster, if you're a newscaster, if you're a journalist, this is like the most definitive, the best guideline for anybody, just as far as advice. Cause he always asked very short questions. Mm-hmm. He said he believed being concise provided the best answers and I cannot stand it when somebody asks a question and then rephrases it two or three times and assumes they know what the answer is going to be and then says, what are your thoughts? And it's like, well, you just said everything they could possibly say. Right. Yeah, it is very fr- – it is – because we're oh. not there to see the person that's doing the interviewing. We're here to hear what the other person has to say. So shut up, interviewer. Thank you. Yeah. Exactly. But he did, I just was looking through real quickly. This is kind of fun doing a, a podcast where I have access to my, oh, what's that? Is that me or you? I must oh, I don't me. know. Anyway, and I just heard <laughs> a little noise in my ear. Um, but hey, I have been able to use my computer while I'm doing this at the same time. Cause look something up really quickly. But um, oh my I mean, you think about. 2000, 2007 <laughs> just tweeted you and said, hey. Because I've always, I've always been without anything or just had just my phone. I never had my <laughs> laptop or anything like that when we were doing anything since we left. Two years, right. right? It's been a little over two years. It has been a struggle for me because I've always had my computer right in front of me from day one. And so I hated not being able to look something up really quick. Um, <laughs> but anywho, I mean, just the, the, the idea of the number of people that he had talk to from from the scandals to the celebrities to the presidents foreign leaders and and just and just regular people um yeah. but yeah he was something else love him or you know love him or hate him it doesn't really matter he was still a fascinating guy yeah um, no, i agree and i'm so glad they got to talk to him that's really cool yeah. that they got to talk to him and if you guys subscribe to the hollywood raw podcast it, the they we, we republished that episode this past weekend so it should be at the top of your feed and you can listen to it, it it's pretty interesting it's it's very interesting actually that's fantastic. I'm glad they did that. Very good. And how do you like all the Bernie memes? 
Love the Bernie memes. Actually, you know, I'm kind of get, I'm getting really sick of the Bernie memes now. I, my my brother sent me one finally, which was a big, huge snake with a big lump in it, and one of Bernie's gloves on the outside of the snake, meaning like he ate Bernie and the memes done. Because I'm ready for that thing to go away. I know <laughs> it's getting ridiculous. It, it is starting to get really ridiculous. But somebody sent me one. She's a, a horse show person from years ago. And she sent me one. If you're familiar, this will be funny to you. If you're not, bear with me. Um, but in barrel racing, they have a, a term called turn and burn. Mm-hmm. And basically, you're going around the first barrel. You want to turn and then take off and go to the second barrel, turn and burn. Right? And right. so the barrel was replaced by Bernie. Of course. Turn and burn. Turn and burn. Yes. Oh, got it. Yeah. Okay. Had a barrel racer running around Bernie. So anyways, <laughs> I thought that was I'm like, turn oh, there we go. That's, okay. that's actually pretty funny. That's pretty creative. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that was one I hadn't seen floating around, but yeah, there's <laughs> definitely more than enough of them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, all right, well, um, right before you called to as yeah. far as when we started doing this, I was hoping I could catch some audio of this, but she stopped. Of course, uh, Bella was walking around with my slipper and, and bringing it to me and meowing, and and it would have been adorable, but then of course she broke loose and so she, she stops. Stopped. She stops. Yeah, Jack course. decided he wanted to play with the slipper too, and. Yeah, it's it awkward. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's so getting, anyway, it, it's getting lit at your house during snowmageddon. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna have enough of each other. They're gonna be good and ready for me to go to work tomorrow. That's for sure. At least I hope that's how it works out. I mean, we'll I see. hope so. You know, I mean, seriously, as we talk right now, um, we are recording this at ten in the morning on Monday, and it's just really lightly snowing. And I know <laughs> we're supposed to get what they say, eight to 10, eight to 12 inches. Eight, eight to is, 10. I saw Rusty Lord tweeted out from Channel 6 saying that the bulk of the one inch per hour snow is going to happen between four and eight, four and nine tonight. The one inch per hour. And then the thunder snow, is that supposed to be then? Because that's what the National Weather Service had posted that we were supposed to see thunder snow this afternoon. I get. I hope. Which I, I guess. love that because there's a huge thunderstorm right behind this snow system. And the thunderstorm was going through Kansas City earlier. I think I'd sent you over a picture mm-hmm. of yeah. the map, right? <clears throat> and at that time, there was the thunderstorm going on in Kansas City, pushing north, but then it was changing. Of course, the temperature is so much lower here, and so then it was turning into snow as it hit us. So that's why we might see thunder snow. So well, I don't know. I hope, that's probably when it'll happen, if it's going to happen, if it's going to get that yeah, lit. So, yeah, I know. We'll see what goes. But, yeah, we'll see if it does. Because if it does end up hitting later than we thought, we may not get into work as early as we hope, but we'll see what happens. Yeah. We'll, it was, well, we're all good. You, everybody just hunker down, make your meatloaf, make your bread, whatever you got to do, wear your smock <laughs> with pockets, and ha- and just enjoy the, your Monday, your snow day. That'll that'll make your meatloaf, that's for yeah. sure. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> and Sorry. in the meantime, I- <laughs> you can text us. It's 402-403-9478. That still works in the snow. Um, or get on social. <laughs> it's Pat and JT on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Thanks for listening. Be safe. MJT Podcast, a Parkville Media Production.